Absolutely, let's talk about getting tested and what it's like. So for me personally, my story with getting tested is I didn't know where to go at first. I had no clue how people were getting tested. And it is true that when you're a girl, it is harder to get a diagnosis than it is for a boy. That's why a lot of females don't get diagnosed until they're an adult, like me. So I went to my primary doctor. I had no idea where to go. And at first, the nurse was like, yeah, this could be autism. And then my primary doctor was like, mm, I don't know. But they directed me to a psychologist anyways that is a professional at testing people. Now, I do want to say there's multiple ways to get tested and to figure out if you're autistic or not. The way anyone chooses to do is valid. And that includes self-diagnosing. At first, I was told I didn't have autism, even though I passed the test. But here's what got me to, I guess, fail the test. In my life, I'm a creative, I'm a singer, songwriter, hula dancer, I'm a performer. And once a psychologist heard that I perform on stage, he said, and I quote, Oh, well, you don't have autism then because my six-year-old client would never be able to do that. So I want to give you a warning. If you go and get tested, they're going to try their absolute hardest to not listen to you and to tell you that you don't know who you are and how you think and that there's no way you have this. When it comes to getting tested, it can take a long time before you get finally the right answers and validation. When it comes to getting booked for testing, it can take a long time too. A lot of people are trying to figure it out, which is amazing. Some places have a wait list of a few months. Some places have a wait list of a few years. And what I meant earlier by self-diagnosis is just as validating. Because nobody knows your brain like you. Nobody knows how you grew up like you do. How you were treated. How you socialize. Nobody knows you but you. As you should. There is this test online. Now, these tests online do not diagnose you officially but they can really help clear your mind and path. And it can very much help you when you go to a psychologist and say, hey, I took this detailed test that you're about to give me as well because the tests are basically very close to the same. The questions they ask you are very much the same. If you can go to them with this test, give them your answers and say, hey, this on top of all these other symptoms that I have that are equaling up to autism, I think I have autism. And here's a test. I'm going to show you the website this website called embraceautism.com they have multiple tests again these tests do not diagnose you but they can help clear your path clear your mind and help your psychologist figure you out as well beforehand when getting tested don't be afraid to continue getting tested the first person you go to may not be hearing you first person i went to said i had social anxiety i've been diagnosed with that since i was 10 you know you the best